He's an actor and a model who happens to have some amazing <laughs> yeah. genes, and we love it when he drops by. Patrick Schwarzenegger. Patrick is starring in the new film. It's called Echo Boomers. It's about a group of 20-year-olds who steal from the rich and take it for themselves. Take a look. Hello. Well, you find me attractive? A what? You won't look at me. That means either you're not into what's going on here or my good looks are making you uncomfortable. The first. Uh-huh. You add someone without asking me and bring them to my place of business? I didn't see anything. Oh, yeah, you did. You say one word to anyone. I dare you. Wow. What? Stop we it, are... Patrick. And Patrick oh. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. How are you guys? Oh, we're so happy hey. you're here. By the way, you're good in this film. Look at you. Tell, uh, uh, tell us about the premise. I mean, this is an interesting, interesting premise. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really fun script that Michael Shannon found and he produced, and, and I got to star opposite of him, which was awesome. But it's a really fun, uh, you know, heist film about these kids that are going through the educational programs that, that the U.S. has and are promised this these jobs and work, only to find out that they are, are left in an incredible debt afterwards and, and basically come together to find ways to... Uh, to try to flip the system on its head. Yeah, it's a Robin Hood type story. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you said that it really resonates right now because obviously yeah. there are a lot of your friends that are graduating from college or people you know that are, are hoping for jobs mm -hmm. in this um, COVID era and mm -hmm. it's, it's hard. Right. Yeah, I mean, I can only I can only uh, kind of compare it to what my brother and all of his friends are going through. You know, he just graduated Michigan back in May. They didn't have a gr graduation, but I, I was talking to some of his friends, all who were, you know, had had taken out student loans and gone through this amazing, uh, you know, collegiate program at, at University of Michigan, and every single one of their jobs was canceled come the day of graduation. And uh, you know, obviously, we're going through unprecedented times with COVID and and everything that was happening with the economy, but it was just kind of showing me what, what could happen to a lot of these students uh, of, of getting promised these, these high aspirational jobs after going through these amazing college programs and taking out large amounts of debt. It's a, it's a really unfair uh, system in a lot of different ways. And, and um, obviously in this film, we go about mm -hmm. it in, in the worst way possible, but um, it definitely has me looking at the educational system in a, in a very different manner. And I think a lot of people will uh, after uh, COVID. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take yes. a pause. Stay Just, right there. We're gonna hit press pause. We want to talk to you about you more about you, you, the mother, your mom, who we love. <laughs> we'll talk to you after break. Stick around, Patrick. All right. We're back with Patrick Schwarzenegger, who is starring in a new movie. It's called Echo Boomers. Patrick, welcome back. We're giving you two segments because there's lots of love for you. So you've been in quarantine with your mom. Uh, what's that like? Well, in the beginning of, uh, of COVID, I actually moved back with my mom. Uh, you know, remember, we spoke together on Instagram Live. And, mm -hmm. and it was, um, honestly, it was amazing because I don't know the next time that I'll be able to ever, you know, move back home with my mom and spend that much time with her. So March and April and May were, were really amazing months. We got to really bond. You know, we're extremely close, me and her and our whole family. But um, you know, we, we had a lot of fun together. Hoda and I love your mom so mm -hmm. much. We really do. And yeah. I always ask her, I'm like, how did you raise yes. kids who are so unique, but the love is so evident? You know, you guys, your, your family is like this unit. What did she do? Like for any of the moms out there, like how did yeah. she do it? Oh, uh, manners was a, was a, was mm -hmm. a huge component growing up. Um, you know, she would, uh, if I didn't open the door for her and let her walk through first, she would just stay outside and wait. Uh, <laughs> so that was a big thing. If we didn't stand up when, when she walked in the room or any, uh, you know, lady walked in the room, that was a big thing as well. But, you know, she loves you guys too. She was talking on, we were driving to Santa Barbara this weekend and she was bringing you both up saying how great a friend you guys were and, and how much she missed coming back to New York yes. and getting to work with you guys and have meals and break bread. And, and she just wrote about that in her Sunday paper this past week. So I know she misses you guys a lot. Well, that oh. Sunday paper is one of our favorites. She, By the way, she turned 65, and she said for her birthday she just wanted calm. That was part of it. How was her birthday? It was calm. It was calm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. We just had dinner, made breakfast for dinner. That's her favorite. Um, oh. And made cake there, as you can see. And, and we just kind of hung out as a family. We watched Wedding Crashers and ate a bunch of food, went on a walk, and, and kept it really uh, low-key. Mm -hmm. You know, I I read somewhere that when you were little, you have memories of being on set with your dad, watching mm -hmm. uh, your father Arnold act, and he mm -hmm. was, of course, is of mm -hmm. course such a, a iconic actor. How how now you're doing it? Like, yeah. is that yeah. cool? And is he is he proud of you? Yeah, he's so proud of me. My my you know my both my parents are proud of me and. Uh, it's it's pretty surreal because I remember growing up and going to set with him and it was like my favorite activity and I was so sad when he became governor to, to go from <laughs> to uh, Universal Studios lots to the Capitol. Um, but it was uh, it was really surreal to have him come to set and have kind of the the pages turned and um, yeah he's he's really proud of me and I you know they're so supportive and um, you know I'm, I I couldn't ask for a better parent duo so oh, we're cheering you on patrick sure good luck are. good luck with this movie too okay it, oh thank you guys it's so great to see you thank good to you. see you honey it is called echo boomers and it's in theaters on and on demand this friday